Perek Dinim Amaynas Bishlesha, Daf Dalid, sponsored the Rufu Shlema for Nasim and Chayyim. Yesterday's Daf concluded with a dispute between Rebbe and the Rabbana. How many judges are required to adjudicate monetary cases? Rebbe holds five judges. The Torah states, Asher Yashiun Elohim. The word Elohim in the plural form does not necessarily indicate two. However, the word Yashiun, the verb, to convict does. If describing a conviction of one judge, the verse would have stated Yashia. Since the second Elohim of the verse is plural, the assumption is the first is as well. Therefore, the verse indicates four judges. Logically, an additional judge must be added to a best in shuffle, creating an odd numbered court. The Rabbana disagree. Yashiun, written defectively without a vav, indicates a singular form similar to the word Elohim written in a plural form that denotes one. Although the spelling and pronunciation of words in the Torah were transmitted to Moshe by Hashem, the Tanoim disputed which of these forms <coughs> for the purposes of exposition is primary. Number one, the Gemara brings the opinion of Rabbi Yehuda ben Roetz. Metama shvuayim kenidasa. These words teach the number of days a woman is impure after birthing a daughter. It can be read as two weeks or 70 days. Initially, Rabbi Yehuda ben Roetz interpreted the amount of impure days as two weeks to a ratio of pure days. Just as her pure days are double those for the birth of a son, so too her impure days. However, he concluded yesh aim lamikra. The pronunciation of the word is its primary form of exposition. The word is written shiv im, vowelized as if written shvuayim. Number two. The Gemara brings a dispute between Beishama and Beisila how many blood applications are necessary to attain atonement for a sacrifice. The blood for a sin offering is applied to the horns of the Mizbeach Achitz on the outer altar. The Torah mentions Karnos, the horns three times, one written with a vav, Karnos, and the other two defectively, Karnas. Beishama holds Yeshem Lamikra, therefore reads all of them as Karnos, the plural six horns. It cannot imply six applications since there are only four horns. Therefore, they apply a general principle related to sacrificial law. Shana lava kasu vlaake. The repetition of two applications indicate they are essential. The other four fulfill a mitzvah but are non essential. Basilu holds yesh aim lamasorets. The primary source of exposition is the written word. Karnos, written defectively without a vav, indicates a single application. Therefore, there are four applications. The verse does not repeat any application indicating all are mitzvahs but not essential for atonement. However, the lo logic dictates that one is essential. Number three, the word sukkah is mentioned three times related to the mitzvah, twice defective without a vav, and one for the mitzvah. The Rabbanan hold yesh aim lamasores, three remaining to teach the number of walls. Aloha Moshe, we see now teaches a tefach with suffices for one wall, requiring two full-size walls and one of a tefach. Rabbi Shimon holds Yesh Eim Lamasoros. The three adds up to six. One mention of sukkah is for the mitzvah. The remainder is for three full size and one a tefach. Number four, the Gemara brings a dispute between Rabbi Akiva and the Rabbana. A verse in the Torah states, Valkol nafshos meis lo yavo. The word nafshos is defective. Rabbi Akiva holds Yesh Eim Lamikra. Therefore, he explains the plural nafshos. Two half revios blood can combine from two dead bodies. The Rabbanan disagree. They hold Yeshem Lamasores. Its defective form refers to a single dead body. The Gemara rejects the explanation of the four previous cases, disputing Yeshem Lamikra the Lamasores. All Tanoim agree the verse, Lo Savasho Bidi Bachalevi Mo, prohibits cooking milk and meat, not milk and fat. This can be only because all agree Yeshem Lamikra. Therefore, the previous proofs are reinterpreted. The Gemara again retreats from its present assumption that there is no dispute, yesh aim lamikr, yesh aim lamasores, based on another proof. Rabbi Akiva learns the shell roach has four separate compartments from the word totafot. The word tat in two different languages means two. Rabbi Shmoyal learns it from two of the three times totafot being defective. If he held yesh aim lamikr, it would be six, not four compartments. The Gemara concludes, the prohibition is derech bishul. It's only possible in milk, not in fat, used for frying. 
If you're enjoying Daffin 5, please click on the link below, subscribe and become a sponsor. Have a good Shabbos. Thank you.